Let's talk about accounting for company credit cards within your Peachtree software. To begin accounting for company credit cards, there are two things you need to set up first. First, we need to set up a general ledger account for our company credit card. Let's come here under the Maintain pull-down menu and come down to Chart of Accounts. We need to set up an other current liability account for our credit card. So let's click on this magnifying glass and find a good spot for it. Let's scroll down here in our chart of accounts and come down to the other current liabilities section. This looks like a good spot for it right here. We're going to give it account number 24050. The description will be Visa Credit Card. And the account type will be an other current liability. Now let's save this account and close this window. The second item we need to set up is a vendor. We need to set up a vendor for our company credit card. Let's simply call it Visa with the same name. Next, you can fill out the contact and address information. We're going to skip over that here. Let's go to the Purchase Defaults tab. Within the Purchase Defaults tab, we're going to use the GL account we just set up, 24050. Click OK here and let's save this new vendor. Now we have set up the two things we need to begin accounting for transactions with our company credit card. Now let's look at how we record purchases made with our company credit card. Let's come here to the Tasks pull down menu and come down to payments. When we purchase things with our company credit card, this is where we want to come. Let's pull in the new vendor we set up. And now we're on the check number field. Up here, we want to use some type of a numeric sequence that helps us identify this purchase. We recommend using a date. We're going to use today's date along with a suffix in case we have more than one purchase with our company credit card today. Next, come over here to the cash account and change this to account number 24050, our new account that we set up. And finally down here, we'll fill in the line items of what we purchased. We may have several line items if we purchased different things from one vendor. We went to Office Max and we purchased some supplies. They get charged to account number 71,000. The amount was $125. Now we simply save this transaction. At this point, let's assume that we had several of these transactions throughout the month and now it's the end of March and our visa bill arrives in the mail. The first thing we want to do is reconcile that visa bill. So come here to the tasks pull down menu and come down to account reconciliation. Let's pull in the account to reconcile 24050. The first thing we want to do is come down here and record the statement ending balance as a negative. Our statement ending balance is 127.50. Then we check off all the items that have cleared. Up here will be all of our purchases. Down here will be all of our payments or any returns or credits. We check this off and we have a difference of $2.50. It says on our credit card statement that this is interest expense. So let's go ahead and make an adjustment for it here. Amount $2.50. And let's charge this to interest expense. Here, account number 67500. 
and it's at the end of the month that we're reconciling it. Click OK, and then let's check this off as cleared. Now our balance is zero. We're ready to pay the bill. Let's click OK, and let's go cut a check to Visa to pay this statement bill. Let's come here to Payments, and let's pull in Visa, and we'll put in our next check number and today's date. Now, notice that this is the account that came up here. You want to be very careful about this. Whenever you change this account to something other than your main cash account, Peachtree defaults to the last account used in this field when we re-enter this screen. So pay attention to this because if you change it for one transaction and then return and enter a lot of normal payments, they'll get coded to the wrong account. Here we want to set this account back to our cash account. Regular checking. Now we simply come down here and write a check for the 127.50. And click on print. And that's how to account for company credit cards within your Peachtree software.